right, we're here at the 50K Players Championship. I'm with Daniel Negreanu, d Negs, better known as, I think, right? Well, you, you actually named me that. <laughs> it was you. I never was called d before you, and she just created the name, and now it's on my, on my freaking car. It's on his <laughs> Tesla license plates. I mean, that's pretty strong credit right there. Yeah. I love it. Anyway, you're about to play the 50K Championship. You have been getting really deep this summer. I mean, how do you navigate the World Series so well? Well, I mean, you got to figure out, like, when you're going to sleep. Because <laughs> I don't play, actually, I don't play the crazy schedule. I don't play any of the small tournament, big field events. It's, it's pretty amazing for those that do play both, because then they, like, never sleep. But I just play the big buy-in tournaments, the more prestigious ones, the 10Ks, and then, like, any mixed game format. So it's really not so tough for me. I mean, I, I keep a balanced life for the most part. So you, you pick and choose your schedule and I play get every, more focused. I play every day. I just avoid, like, if there's sort of a gimmicky event, I don't play any of those. Mm -hmm. I always will look for the event that's mixed games, that's non non hold them, non hold them, and like high buy in. Okay, but is that more for bracelet winning? Is that more for your fantasy draft? Or is that just personal preference? You navigate these fields well, better. Number one, it's for enjoyment, right? I'd much rather play mixed games and I don't want them to die. And the, the reason I play the World Series of Poker is because of the mixed games. Mm -hmm. Also, in the past, I used to, you know, play that schedule and, and try to make player of the year, but they changed the system for that. So now, like, the only way you can really win that is if you get the points from all the smaller events. And I don't play any of those. So that's no longer a reason I play, but I, I just love to play mixed games. Yeah. All right. And your summer's been going well. Tell me yeah. a little bit. Well, this is probably the best summer uh, without a win that I've had. I've got you know, nine caches, I think six or seven top 20 finishes, five of them in 10K events. And uh, you just you know, had some near misses with a second, third, sixth, and a bunch of second table finishes. Um, and it, really right now, I've got like a lot of bets on my fantasy team. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to get as many points as I can for Team Negron. <laughs> <laughs> and I heard uh, you did that in the tag team, right? Oh, I did, yeah. I, I loaded my team with guys on my team because the way our point system works, they don't. Yeah, see? A lot of, a couple <laughs> teams did that. I, we just happened to come third. So it worked. <laughs> yeah, it worked, just worked for me. All right, now the 50K, it's, it's a long event. You said a lot of people don't show up early. What can we expect from today? You're not going to see much chip movement today. We're mm -hmm. starting so deep. Like, you, a lot of players are going to buy in tomorrow mm -hmm. and skip the entire first day because the limits are so small. Um, the dangerous spots are going to be in the pot limit Omaha and the no limit hold'em because those are the only places where you could really, like, go broke. If In the limit poker, you've got so many big bets, you can't lose all your big bets. You, could, you couldn't possibly get broke on day one if you just played the limit portion. Am I wrong in saying limit is your best game or used to be your best game? Would you still say that I now? I think I'm good at a lot of different games. I like Stud Aider better. It's my favorite in the mix. Mm -hmm. um, but it depends on the field. Like, Because you're going to have some players in this field that are like mainly limit players that are going to be scared to play the big bets. And then you're going to have some players who are big bet players who don't play the limit games well. So I think I'm versatile, and then I'm going to be able to play all of them above average. And you know your opponents probably well enough from playing for so long that you yeah. can eyeball it's who gonna is who. It's going to be a pro-heavy field for sure. All right, Danielle. Well, hope to see you again at a final table. You will. So many this summer. I know we will. Good luck. Right. Thank you. you got